Hello everyone, hope you find yourself having a great day. Got a neat little uh, piece of goodness uh, that I've discovered in Cinema 4D. It's not necessarily a tutorial, but a little insight of a recent discovery that you might find helpful um, to maybe give a little more realism to your camera movements within Cinema 4D. Uh, for this illustration I'm using R15 and my assumption is it's available in anything from 13 up. So let's get started and take a look at what I'm talking about. Uh, camera movement, you can keyframe and um, have a linear or a spline effect applied to it so that it's either, either a rigid, direct, intentional movement or a more smooth, streamlined, spline type movement. You can also add a variety of um, camera type motions that uh, are implemented so that you can have a camera shake or a camera following a path uh, in a handheld uh, scenario or camera cranes or things of that nature. But sometimes to simulate reality uh, you'd like it to be a little mo bit more believable than those features provide you with. And I've recently discovered uh, something built right in to Cinema 4D that will help you achieve this. I'm going to drop in a couple of just objects in my scene here so that we can illustrate what I'm talking about. I'm going to move this uh, cube out and I'm going to duplicate it. Control, click and drag. And I'm just going to have a few of these spread throughout my scene here so that we can have our camera take different looks at them just to give the scene a little bit of perspective. Now if you go up top under Character and then Manager you'll see an area called Cappuccino. Uh, click that, open it up and you're going to be presented with this little window and what this is going to allow you to do is convert uh, a camera movement let's drop a camera in here and we'll jump into that camera this cappuccino uh, controller is going to control whatever it is that you have selected so in this case we want to control the camera movement so we'll select that and then what we can do in real time um, is click start real time and at that point begin manipulating our camera and you'll see that it's going to introduce keyframes and uh, if, to take it an, another step further we can even have it do point level animation so that uh, we'll have a little bit more um, control over our keyframes if we wanted to do additional uh, tweaks in the future so for example just in the basic scenario here I'm going to hit start real time you'll notice that nothing happens until I begin to move my camera and just as soon as I begin to move that camera, you'll see the timeline begin to move and keyframes being introduced into our scene for the camera. So I'll go ahead and begin to move that camera. You see our timeline is now playing and it's recording exactly what I'm doing here with this camera. So if I move forward, you'll see that it's recorded every keyframe to that camera. If I just play it in a real sense, it would look as if that camera is being controlled by hand. Okay, we can take and select those keyframes, delete them, and we can approach this from a different uh, angle. I'm going to drop a null into my scene, and with that null, I'm going to take this camera, I'm going to right click it, and I'm going to add a Cinema 4D tag, and I'm going to put a target attribute on here. And if I select that target attribute, I'm going to tell it the tar target object will be that null by dragging the null in there. Okay. So now at this point, if I begin to take this camera or take this null, for example, watch here. If I start re recording real time now and move this null around, you see that I'm keyframing. And it would be as if that camera is being moved by the null and I'm actually recording the position through the camera where that null is being moved. So if I stop that and play that back, you'll see now that the camera is following that null in real time without me having to manually advance my timeline and provide a keyframe for that. So it's just a really, really neat feature um, that's under your character, under manager, and cappuccino. And uh, Hopefully you'll find this interesting and have a need for it in the future. It's just uh, something I recently discovered and wanted to pass along with you. If you find it uh, helpful, remember comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.